Hello, this is Claver Anjo, Solution Architect here at Click. Today I'll be demonstrating how Click Data Integration can efficiently stream data into Confluent Cloud. By combining these two technologies, we enable seamless data replication from diverse sources, integrating with Confluent's event streaming platform, gaining real-time insights from live data capture, empowering the organizations with up-to-date information for important decision-making, of real-time data analysis. The data pipeline begins with Click Replicate, which is part of Click Data Integration Solution. This solution can easily and in an automatic way map and convert all data types from the sources, which can be on-prem or on cloud, creating the, the target topics for each table and registering a schema describing the messages that are being streamed. Replicate can also apply transformations and filterings in memory while moving data from source to the topics. And it can handle both the initial flow of historical data and ongoing change captures with the minimal impact on the source. Replicate achieves this by monitoring the source logs and keeps applying all the data to Confluent Cloud or Confluent Platform. In this demo scenario, we have a source database running on premise and we want to replicate its data into Confluent Cloud for real-time analytics in other applications. We'll be using Click Replicate to accomplish this. What you're seeing right now is the Click Replicate web console. This solution supports multiple tasks moving data between any combination of sources and targets. A task in Click Replicate is a combination of source and target and the tables that want to stream to the target and all the transformations and filterings. Let me create a new task. It's called for it. Demo. And we have some options here. The full load, you get all the historical values and transform into message into Conflict Cloud and apply chains. You keep monitoring the logs and apply all the, the chains to the target. And my task is ready. The next step is select where my data comes from, in this case, Oracle. And I need to select the tables that I, I want to include in my task. It's a jar schema that we search. I get all of them. I can include a pattern. So new tables in this schema will be automatically added to the desk. I can set higher priority for tables that I want to keep a closer look, like job history or employees or employees. For each table, I can apply filtering and transformations. For example, I can filter and click replicate exposes a wizard to help me to create a, a rule. And in this case, I want only records after 2000, January the 1st. I can apply transformations to the data while it's being transferred to my target. For example, I can add a new column and click Replicate exposes a very interesting function set like string manipulation, numeric calculations, date and time manipulation, hashing, and can even define new functions if needed. But for this demo, let's use the first name. Let's concatenate with a space. And add the last name. Yeah, that's okay. Let's give this a full name. So now I have a new field. That's okay. Now I need to inform where is my Confluent Cloud and my credentials. I need to go to my cluster. I need to create a, one API key. Let me create a new key. Next, replicate key. This will download the file with all the information that I need to configure my connection. Let me copy this and let me go back to my console. I'm going to create a new endpoint, which is Confluent 
mode. It's my target. Let me select my connector Confluent Cloud. Let me add my Bootstrap server address. Let me copy my API key. And my secret. And we have options, for example, I can choose between JSON or Avro, and I can set a compression level if needed. I can publish my message to one specific topic, or I can have separate topics for each table. And I want to replicate to use my primary key from my source as I may message key. Now let me test my connection. It's okay, let me save it, let me close. Now let me add this as my target. Now my task is ready to be executed. I have my source, I have my target, I have all the tables that I want to include in my, my task. Now let's run. At this point, Click Replicate is creating the topics in my target and I can see how the process is evolving. As you can see, we have all the tables here were processed and transferred to my Confluent Cloud. Let me go to my Confluent Cloud here. Let me, let's see our topics. Let's see, for example, our employees. Let's see the methods. Let's check for one topic, on partition. As we can see, all the data from our source was stored as a JSON message inside my topic, as we expected. Including the full name was stored as expected here. But what happens when I start applying chains to my target? Let's simulate this using a client. I'm connected here to my Oracle and I have one script performing updates, inserts and deletes. Let's start this script and let's go back to our Confluent Cloud. Now let me start the reader here. Yeah. New records are right here. If I expand, I can see the new data and click replicate as well. It stores all the previous values from all chains. So any, any process can compare the, the previous and the new values and metadata like uh, what kind of operations, what timestamp, transaction ID, how many rows were impacted. So all of those metadata are important for tracking. And if you go back to our Click Replicant console, and we have a screen for monitoring the chains. Let me just run my script again, so we can see how this screen performs in a real, in a real time. Let's see that transactions are arriving and click replicate is then defy, applying all those changes to the my target. I can monitor for latency, how many records per second are applied, how many chains were applied to my target. We have all the control about what's happening in our task. And as we could see together, Click Data Integration can put the data in motion in real time to Confluent using a simple and reliable solution. Thanks for watching this and bye bye.